Mike, nostressmike.com. Okay, it's summer, <laughs> and uh, it is, what's the 22nd, I think it's the 22nd, yep, 22nd of August, 2017, and uh, what I want to talk about now is, uh, uh, we've, we've, remember all this talk, people have been talking about preparing and, and getting ready and all this kind of stuff? Well, it's here, <laughs> and uh, now there's been a long, uh, there's been a line drawn, and this line is communist or freedom-loving Americans, and uh, I've already mentioned uh, we've been uh, the infiltration. Of communist, uh, uh, progressives. Uh, I wish I could call them socialists, but they're not even. We've passed the socialist thing, and the reason I say that is they've gone to using force. Uh, progressive uh, communists are about the same, and uh, they do force. And they the thing that's uh, the thing is. Now, this is the, the part that's going to be really weird. And, uh, you know, I've, I've traveled around the world some, and I, I and it's not like I just go travel and look at all these kind of things. I mean, I live it. I live in these areas. And uh, uh, I see the people. Uh, the people are basically the same people, basically throughout the world, the ones that I've seen. Now, I've got to remember, I've, I've been in um, uh, the Western Hemisphere and China. And uh, I don't want to talk, talk about Vietnam, but, but I say I was there, but that was during war. Uh, but like I say, the thing is, basically, people uh, want to kind of do their own thing. Now, in the United States, it's a little different uh, because we've got less restrictions and we have the Constitution. And the Constitution uh, gives us a whole lot more of uh, liberties than any place else in the world. And the thing is, it's been going this way all the time. And, um, I mean, in the way of, like I say, the infiltration of communists. They don't use that word. Like I say, that's why they talk about progressives. Uh, they try to make you think there's a difference in progressives and the communists. And uh, uh, where you could really see it was uh, the Clintons was the first thing. Bill Clinton, you know, when he was president. And then... Um, uh, Really, the Republican Party is not the Republican Party like it used to be, just like the the Democrat Party isn't the way the Democrats used to be. The, the, now the Democrats is just basically communists. And uh, the Republicans are more socialists, leaving we the people on our own. <laughs> That's how President Trump got into the action. I mean... We all realize that Obama was trying to disguise himself as a socialist, and then as he was in more and more, you could see the progressiveness is what he was trying to push, in which, like I say, he doesn't want to admit communist. And this is why we got a belly full, the freedom loving people had a uh, we the people had a belly full of this uh, communist type ways and that's why someone like uh, President Trump would run and that's why we the people decided hey maybe we need to get away from all these socialist progressive communist type people but they've been in office so long that the people that work 
in government. Oh, I'm talking about uh, local, state, uh, county, uh, federal. The employees, a lot of them, have been replaced with this type of thinking. Uh, they, that's, and I, you know, I know you're, a lot of you are going to say, well, no, I'm not like that. Well, okay, when you shut your mouth, when you back up uh, socialist, communist, progressive ways, you're one of them. And then especially when you're thinking, well, you know, I need my retirement, I need my paycheck from them, they bought you. And um, that's what they do. Okay, now, now what's going on? Now we're to the point where, uh, since President Trump has been in, trying to get back the strength of the Constitution and... Um, uh, Americans, we the people, try to give us back the power. Um, like I say, we've got people that are in uh, office, I mean, uh, elected offices that are progressives and communists. George Soros sponsors, and look, one thing, you just look to see if anybody gets money from George Soros, more than likely. Uh, they they tend to go the communist way. I, you know, I hate calling y'all. I'm sorry if it insults you when I call you a communist. I'm sorry. I mean, if the shoe fits, I mean, where? I mean, that's the way it is. Uh, and uh, so, like I say, it's a uh, you are. Uh, uh, we we've have so many of these people in. That's why when you see now. Uh, these these communists, these these leftless people are going plumb crazy now. You see them; they're destroying public property. Uh, you know, what I mean, and they're not being prosecuted for it. Okay, that tells you where they're not being prosecuted for it. That means that local government is communist. They um, they don't um, they don't do their their job that they were elected for. And uh, so it's bad. And, and so now, like I say, the line has been drawn. So now you're going to have to do one or the other. You're either going to have to go along with all these uh, uh, communist progressive people, uh, or you're going to have to, uh, I'm, I'm, I hate to tell you this, but you're going to have to kind of stand on your own. Um, and but this is what makes the United States great. That's what I was talking about. We are strong individuals. Now you should have been preparing, uh, talking about food, water purification, guns, and ammunition. I, I hope you've been doing all this because now is the time. Uh, you're going to have to um, defend uh, your beliefs. You're either going to have to stand up and defend your beliefs, or you're going to just be one of those wimpy folk that just kind of go along with, with whatever. So, and that's that's how communists are. Remember, I told you I was in China. I mean, they're 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 really um, I don't know how you say it. They're really laid back. I mean, they just no violence, no nothing, and that's why they're communists. Uh, they really don't have much of a choice. They're good people, but like I say, they don't have a whole lot of that American spirit in them. <laughs> you know? and, uh, so, but what we're coming to now is a time that American spirit's going to have to come out. And uh, you're going to be, you're, and it's going to be in the cities is where the problem is. I say I'm out here in the country. I mean, uh, country folk, we take personal responsibility. We have morals. Uh, that is the true American people. And uh, the ones that are in the city, man, you guys got problems. And I hope you've made arrangements to get out of the city, at least get the family out of the city. Uh, because you are going to have to be doing something. You can't just let this stuff go. Uh, because they're, they're, what they're going to do, the communists, what they do is they push, they push, and they push until you're screwed. And, uh, like I say, there is a line now. You can see over here the people that won't be pushed, and you see over there the people that are doing the pushing. 
And uh, what you're going to do, I don't know. Um, hey, I've already got my stuff all, all lined up and ready to go. Um, I'm, uh, like I say, I am uh, preparing to work with other strong individuals. I wish I could say I was working with more city folk, but I'm not. And uh, so the city folk are going to have to do their own kind of thing. And like I say, I'm, I'm outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma, so um, I'm not, Oklahoma, uh, I'm not all that much worried about. Um, yeah, they, we, we, got, we got all these leftists in Oklahoma too, like, but we keep them in the city. And uh, that's going to be taken care of. They're going to take care of themselves in the city. They're not going to like it. They've done this before in Tulsa. Um, you start getting too crazy in Tulsa, uh, they, they, they take action. Now, I will admit, times have changed. A lot of these people living in Tulsa now aren't Oklahoma folk. Uh, they've come from other places. That, that's kind of like you see Austin, you know, Austin, Texas now. See, that's pretty liberal, man. That, that's, I mean, there's a lot of communists down there. And, uh, and what it is, they didn't come from the, the ranches and farms out in the, the country and came into Austin. No, these are uh, communists that have been brought in. They, they, they think they're going to move in there and they're going to do their communist ways. They, and I say they've, uh, uh, they're, they, they don't now, they don't want to uh, prosecute uh, uh, people of color. They say, well, you know, that's prejudice, you know, so, and it's not, it's criminals. <laughs> you know, they can't distinguish the difference between criminal and non-criminal from uh, colors of all the different nationalities and all this kind. They can't distinguish the difference. I mean, all nationalities, all colors got criminals. They can't see that. And, well, they can. But what they're looking for is chaos. They want to start trouble. And... They're going to keep pushing, and it's going to get going. It's going to go any time. So uh, I hope you're all ready, because the time is coming near. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.